Hello, this is Mr. Kenyon Nola, and I'm going to help you find the angle measure indicated. So here's the indicated angle, and I'm going to help you find the measure of this uh, with two pens because I'm going to show you two different ways of uh, how to do this problem. So first thing is, uh, let's read the rest of this uh, the instructions. Assume that lines which appear to be tangent are tangent. So this line right here appears to be tangent uh, because it appears to touch the circle at exactly one point right there. Uh, and here's a radius that touches that point of tangency right there. So if you guys remember, if you guys watched the previous video uh, where it, it teaches you about radii and uh, tangent lines and when a radius and a tangent line intersect at the point of tangency they make perpendicular lines and perpendicular lines are uh, they make 90 degree angles so because this that this line that appears to be tangent really is tangent and here's a radius that intersect at this point of tangency that means this angle is 90 degrees because they are perpendicular so if you didn't watch the Previous video, watch it. It's super interesting. I don't know if it's that interesting, but I think it's interesting. Maybe not super interesting. Eh, it's kind of interesting. It's interesting. Okay, so there's that. Um, so here's the first way of doing this problem. Um, so we have two radii. Okay, radii is plural for radius. And if you guys remember, all the radii in the same circle are all congruent. So that means this uh, side, this radius and this radius are congruent to each other. So I'm going to put a tick mark and a tick mark right here. And so look at this. We have this little triangle right here with, with a tick mark here and here. If these two sides are congruent, that means that this triangle is isosceles. And what kind of angles do isosceles triangles have? What is that? What, what did you say? Yes, base angles. So that means that this angle right here is a base angle to this, and that means these base angles are congruent. So not only do isosceles triangles have two congruent sides, they have two congruent base angles. So if this angle is 55 degrees, then this angle is 55 degrees. Uh, so there's that. And then uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to use this right angle right here. So this angle right here is just 55 degrees, um, but this is a right angle. So that means these two angles add up to 90. What kind of angles add up to 90? Well, hmm, let's use this little pointer right here. And this, oh, well, hey, this is a nice pen. Oh, okay. I just complimented this green pen saying it's a nice green pen. If I turn my hand to the side it makes a right angle 90 degree angle so that means that these two angles add up to make a right angle or they add up to make 90 degree angles uh so complimentary hey yeah hey you look nice today so um to find this angle we're going to take our calculator take the 90 and subtract 55 from it that makes this angle 35 degrees okay um next thing is we're going to use this 55 and um that means this 55 and this right here this angle right here i'm going to put two arcs to make sure that we don't we don't think that these two angles are congruent uh but these two angles make this straight line. So these two angles add up to 180 degrees and two angles that add up to 180 degrees are supplementary. So uh, what we're going to do is take our calculator again. Instead of 90, we're going, to we're going to type in 180 and subtract 55. So this, it's supplement, 55 supplement is 125 degrees. So now we're going to focus on this triangle right here and all three angles because of the triangle sum theorem, all three angles add up to 180 degrees. So we're going to take this 35 and add 125 to it and that's 160 and we're going to take 180 and take away 160 from it and that makes the indicated angle 20 degrees. So.
That's the first way of figuring out this indicated angle. Uh, tangent line, radius, they are perpendicular, so they make 90 degree angles. Both radii are congruent, so they make an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangles have base angles. For this base angle, 55, uh, these two are complementary. These two are supplementary. Triangle sum theorem, 20 degrees. That's a lot of vocabulary, I know. Uh, but uh, you sound cool while you're saying all this stuff, if you could say it correctly. I don't know if you sound cool, but you know, whatever. Okay, so uh, the next way of doing this, I'm gonna take my blue pen and let's pretend all of this stuff isn't here. The only thing that they gave us was this 55 degrees right here. Okay, so uh, we're going to use the same fact that this is an isosceles triangle because radii, uh, the two radii are congruent. So this is isosceles and we have this base angle right here, which is congruent. So this is also 55 degrees and we're going to find this vertex angle right here. So uh, with this little triangle right here, all three angles add up to 180 degrees because of the triangle sum theorem. So we're going to take this 55, add the other 55, and subtract it from 180. Uh, it shouldn't be negative 70. It should be positive 70 because 70 plus 55 plus 55 equals 180. So this is 70 degrees. And now we're going to focus on this big triangle right here. And since this is 70 degrees and this entire angle is 90 degrees, okay, so we're going to Use a triangle sum theorem. 90 plus 70 is 160. And we're going to take 180 and take away 160. And will you look at that? You get the exact same answer, 20 degrees. I want to write it in blue also because we figure out two ways to get the same answer. So uh, more than likely, we got it correct. So this time, uh, we found this angle by using the fact that this is an isosceles triangle again. So we did 55, 55 and subtract that from 180 got to the 70 degrees. And we use the fact that this is, this line and this line are perpendicular. So this is a 90 degree or a right angle. And we use a triangle sum theorem, 70 plus 90, took that, subtract it from 180 and we've got 20 degrees. So there's two ways. Here are two ways to figure out the indicated angle measure. Hope that helps. Have a great night.